Professor Mohamed Masous at Manchester University, together with Professor Mike Kelly at Cambridge University, are joint winners of this year's Brian Mercer Award for Innovation. They have been working for 20 years to develop a way to commercially manufacture faster and more temperature-independent computer chips based on the physics of quantum mechanical tunneling. At the quantum mechanical level, particles behave both as solid objects and as waves. When a quantum object, like an electron, is sent toward a thick barrier, it bounces off, exhibiting particle-like properties. But if the barrier is thin enough, the electron may sometimes exhibit wave-like properties and pass through. The thinner the barrier, the more likely the electron is to pass through. Because the electron is able to tunnel through very fast, the tunneling phenomena tends to be almost independent of ambient temperature. So tunneling devices are therefore inherently faster. The real bottleneck now with tunneling diodes is that this quantum mechanical phenomena is incredibly dependent on the thickness of this wall you're trying to, to cross. A typical tunneling diode might be 10 atomic layer thick. However, if you build a, a set of diodes where the tunneling barrier varies, say, by just one atomic layer, say from 9 to 11. When you build diodes, their electrical characteristics might change by up to 300%, making them literally useless for engineering applications. So what has held up tunneling devices to be exploited has really been the manufacturability. Can we make these barriers absolutely exact? Well, we have to build this barrier to within a tiny fraction of an atomic layer. Mike Kelly and myself have been working on this for over now, probably over 20 years. We needed to make the, the wall exactly 10 atomic layer. So how did we achieve that? Well, we use the technique called molecular beam epitaxy. So in this technique, you deposit the, the exact tunneling barrier we were working with. We grew at extremely low rates. At rates where we could control the, the flux of atoms coming to better than one hundredth of an atomic layer per minute, but, but which was accurate enough for us to make sure we are depositing exactly an atomic layer. So this is a molecular beam epitaxy machine. Its function or its operation relies on uh, the ability to have a very high or an ultra high vacuum onto which are uh, literally cells onto which sit elements of the periodic table like gallium, aluminium, arsenic, which are then heated up, evaporated to make beams. Where the beams in intersect, the material is collected and makes the thin film that will then make your tunnel diode in due course. We know the benefit that tunnel diode can give us, which are speed and temperature independence. The beauty with these diodes is that they do not require a lot of applied voltage across them to operate. We therefore should be in a position to make very low power circuits. So we are talking with a lot of stakeholders, uh, end users, and companies who are interested in this. So what the Brian Mercer Award allowed us to do is to try the, the new ideas we had and now it is enabling us to make a large scale uh, fabrication of these devices. But it's not just the resources, it's also the recognition from the Brian Mercer. That's been fantastic. I will tell you the dream is to have this in every mobile phone.